Boy, I wish I had face cam. The Akamura is, I better start the timer. The Akamura is pulling a Greg here. He's so fucking precious. Welcome back to Night in the Woods, everyone. <laughs> Pretty much this one scene is all you need to know about the last episode. God. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> it lives! What the? Hi, Angus. Angus. I. <laughs> Woohoo! Imagine you go visit your family and you come home to this. I figure it's a better than hey, even chance. Angus. How's it going, May? Good. I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. I have a feeling if I ever go visit my family without you and come home, there's a better than even chance there's just more foxies and moogles everywhere. But it'll oh, be hey. a similar situation to that. I went home after that. You did. What's up, Dad? How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hock salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? Like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks. The sweetest meats of all. <laughs> What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know. Stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. Aw. Slang you can pick up at work. Oh, yes. Point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about? In the crawl space? Hmm. I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Aw, oh, yes. I mean... I feel like that my dad was more malicious. Well, not even my dad. My stepmom was more malicious about hinting at me to get a conventional job 12, 13, 14 yes, years ago like, than May's dad is. Yeah, I'm feeling the sting, but at the same time, I can understand that it's coming from a place of love, because it's like, I'll think about the crawl space. Come watch TV with me as collateral. Yeah. No, well, that. I meant the job thing. Yeah, that too. Ah, uh, yes. You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Pirating a movie online. You know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> he has, folks. Wonder if pirating in a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than about one about grand larceny. Hey, Mallow, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a whoopa! <laughs> he has a catchphrase. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. <laughs> oh my god, there was a Facebook post that my friend Mike forwarded me um did you ever see the spongebob episode where a big fat fish comes in and orders a food orders uh, a burger the one with bubble butt or was it something else bubble bath was it yeah something? yeah 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 and he has this really complicated order and he says it to squidward and squidward's response is sir we sell food here <laughs> okay so someone went in and actually all the terms he said are legit terms that they use for diners so someone translated it and then made that sandwich and posted a picture of it wow i need to find that post hold, hold on you know what i'm even gonna pause the episode to do this hold on holding on all right i don't know how i'm gonna do this in post but the on the show the fish ordered Okay, his lines are, I'll take a double, trippy a double, triple, bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 four four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy, and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. And what that means, a double, triple is six patties, bossy means all beef, deluxe means with everything, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and such, on a raft means on toast, 4x4 four four means he also wants four patties and four cheese. And since he earlier ordered six patties, that means he wants 24 patties and 24 slices of cheese, cooked in mustard, extra toast, jelly on the toast, orange juice on the side with butter, extra onions, extra sauce, and made it well done. And someone made the sandwich, and that's what it looks like. My God. 
what the fuck is that? They had to put it in a fucking slide. They did. That is a lot of aluminum foil to protect the dude's floor. So, I hope whoever made that picture is not going to come after me, but I, I need to share that with the world in a more permanent form than just a uh, just a Facebook post. So, there you go. Okay, sorry about that digression. I just needed Jeez, to share it's... that with everyone. Let's get back to Night in the Woods here. I need to eat a salad after <laughs> that. Right. I want to know how many calories that son of a bitch had. Like, that's several meals. Thousands. Several days worth of meals. I was going to say, that's like a week's worth of calories. My god. I wonder what the guy or person, I don't know if it was a guy, I wonder what the person did with that sandwich after they made uh, it. Talkies, talkies. Talkie talkies. Hey, May, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. I'm watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No. The reenactments are terrible. If they were good, I'd actually I'd like actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. Hey, punk. You still electric? <laughs> no, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. I mean, you're touching your computer, May, so... Okay, I touched my futon frame, and we're good. <laughs> good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. Aw. All right, duder, I am tuning in. Turning in. Me too. See you later. Angus. Hey, May, are you all right? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Aw, I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. <laughs> so you have to talk to your shark god again. Shargle. <laughs> it sounded like you just hacked up a lung. Science beat. Jobs cannot be soul crushing because there is no proof that souls exist. Wow. Okay, then. Oh. Oh, you missed Casey. You don't even know who Casey is, and you miss him. I know. Him. <laughs> I mean, shit, you click on his away message, and you know everything about the guy. That's yeah, true. Well, we had a big day today. Bedtime? Did some crimes, got electrocuted. Yes. Aww. Aww. Met our favorite uh, parade float from back in the day. <gasps> We still have to feed Mallard's baby. Do you have to make sure you don't get caught stealing this time? Shit. I know that pretzel was so tantalizingly out of reach. Uh. <laughs> it's all here, so. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a red eyeball. Yep, we got. Let's go find our musician friends. This one doesn't look so Are those friendly. Stairs? No, it's just flatness, I guess. Yeah, and everything just disappeared. Whoa. Oh, God. There's the moon again. Oh, oh. Musician? Well, that's good. At least we have a little bit of light and happiness here. I wonder why she's dreaming of the band. No idea. I'm really hoping this isn't red herring. Like, that everything in the dream actually means something. Me too. But, knowing how well the game has been developed thus far, like, I can't imagine that it would be meaningless. The developer seems to care way too much about the plot and the stories and how everything yes. works together. I bet you nothing in this game is pointless. Did you have more friends over here, guy? Oh, I can't see. No. Oh. Thank you for playing your accordion for me. Aww. Uh -huh. At least May's having fun bouncing yes. on the power lines. Find his friends. Yes. 
His compadres. Yes. His brohemes. His brohemes? Yes. Oh, Here we go. there's two. It's as far as you can go, yep. the rest must be up. Or down. Because we came from up. Yes, but you kind of fell. I didn't I think did. there was a place to go down anymore. Oh, maybe there is. Jeez. That music is escalatory. Yes, it is. Hmm. Docks. Whoa. Okay. May pulling a Jesus. Oh, there's one. There you go. There's three. Yay! Oh, I must be able to find my way back to the lamps. Because. Because? And then that's how the last dream ended. Uh, I made my way back to the lamps. Yes. Then I got eaten by a pig bear. Yes. Pig bearman. I wonder if May likes jazz. I wonder why, if that's... Well, wait, is this jazz? Yeah, it's, okay. uh, sounds like jazz. Terrible with music genres. It's okay, but I am too. I wonder if May went to, like, a jazz club when she was in college. Maybe. Got Maybe there the are people band. she knows? Maybe. I usually don't dream of strangers. Like, if I dream yeah. at all, it's people I know. Science says that's actually impossible. What? To dream of strangers. You think so? Like, your brain can't make up a face. I mean... If that makes sense. Can it not? Isn't yeah, that like, what? Isn't that what, like, imagination for, I don't know, writers would do? Like, I mean, Nick maybe. doesn't exist in real life, so I mean, how do I know what Nick it looks like? But at the same time, Nick is someone you constructed in your waking hours from the faces of others. I see. So, my version of Nick is a conscious thing. Yes. And you're saying the unconscious cannot create something. Yes. Interesting. That would like, explain why you always dream of things that, like, exist, even if it's all weird and stuff. Hey, I made my way back. You did? Whoa. Okay. Chairs uh -oh. and wheels. Here we go. Squirrel. Squirrel. Fuck. Man, her dreams are getting more and more disturbing. Intense. Yeah. I don't know. I think the bear one was scarier than the last one. Yeah. Actually, you're probably right. That squirrel just sort of appeared and didn't do anything. Yeah, the bear fucking absorbed us. Yes. This is man bear pig. We need to call an Al Gore. What's South Al Gore going to do? <laughs> Tie a little cape around his neck and go fush fush as he runs around in circles. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Morning, Greg. Hopefully. Yay! Hey. hey. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be hello at. Aw. Okay. Update. The robot smells a little weird. <laughs> Not sure what we missed there. Anyway. Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon more like it. Hey. Those of us who are falcons are not crap. Shut up, Greg. Hey, the snack falcon is the crap falcon. Um, Greg has said so. Uh, okay. You're the pyro falcon. I am the pyro falcon. Oh, I wonder if Greg's arc Greg's arc ends with him making it the pyro falcon. Because he's gonna. Burn I will it down. give this game all my money. He's gonna burn it down. <laughs> Crawl space. <laughs> nope. Dad, Dad still needs you to watch TV with him. Dad. But hey, look on the bright side. We have another chance to steal a uh <gasps> we do. A pretzel. I thought that sorry I cut myself off. I thought the pictures changed <laughs> expressions in the background, so I got a little spooked. Yep. But they did not. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. Anything new here? Nope. Let's go say hi to mom. Whew, this is good. I've got my second wind. I don't usually talk about this on the show because you guys don't care. But you look I was tired. 
feeling a little tired myself earlier, Ugh. and now I feel better. Morning. Probably because I finished drinking that ultra white. white. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm-hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Aw. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. Kind of adult stuff. I'm adult stuff. Hmm? Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Mom? Yeah, we had to do tons of numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Before I did my little gamble here. Yep. Numbers aren't so bad. Numbers no. numbers have always been my friend. Really? Yeah. Were you good at math in school? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, we had the OGT testing, which is the statewide graduation test that they had for No Child Left Behind, I think. Yeah. Math was my best subject. I got wow, a, I, didn't I know that. got advanced proficient. I am fighting with the squirrel. Come here, man. We're going to have a fight. We're going to have a tussle. That's really interesting. You know, I guess that does make... I, I don't see you demonstrate your mathematics skills or your logic skills very often, but I guess yep. come to think of it, when you do, you go all out with it. Yep. Um, like, like with when we play Factorio together, I'm usually the one who keeps the bigger picture in mind, but once you decide to do a thing, you're usually pretty on it. Yep. My favorite thing to do is find a big number and punch it down. That also explains why you love clickers so much, because you get to see your little numbers increment. Yep. I like watching numbers go big, too. Aw, they're adorable. Totally what's up, Selmers. You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I would pick number two, but it is up to you. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> um... I was going to say those fruit snack thingies we used to eat in grade school. Oh, right. Yeah, those are really good. They are. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Oh, hell yes. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. <laughs> a juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. <laughs> Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazikov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. I've seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who was up there. Interesting. I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Were you around when I wanted to do daily haikus? No, I don't think so. I can't remember when I wanted to do that, because I was going to do daily haikus on Twitter, and then I just stopped after, like, two. <laughs> I didn't actually do much of daily anything. It'd be kind of fun. You're going to make my dog anxious, and she poops a lot when she's anxious. <laughs> Sir, you have a cat and a dog. Either you are telling me a lot true, or you are being a silly, and you have silly animals. Oh, anything else to say about this guy here? Doesn't seem so. May -may? But you can go uh, talk to the old guy on the roof again. Yep, I'm going. Up. Frick. <laughs> you got this, Wee! May. Use those ups. Mad ups. Mad ups. Yay. Bench. May Borowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. <laughs> Come to hunt some dusk stars. Of course. Definitely. Come have a look. You Don't stare your eye this time. Oh! Ah, my eyes! Filter! Ugh! <laughs> Ooh, there's more. There's like one, two, three. All right, looking for a blue loot loot. Oh, hey. Hey there. Oh. The hunt is on. Oh. Is yeah, I you? forgot you got the alarm system. Is it you? It is, is you. you. Found one, found one, found one! Aww. Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. 
by the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the, wa- of the world changing and leaving one behind. Mm. They're all gonna be bummers, huh? Was he not psychic? Who can say? Do we believe any tale occurred? Huh. Either way, one day, his king met a new sage, an astronomer. She showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns, and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Whoa. <laughs> are they obsolete? No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king can give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> The stars, they make one think. Well, we'll keep looking around for more stars and more stories in the next episode because we are out of time for this one. Yep. Hi, Dor. Thanks. Th- thank you all very much for what? Why am I swallowing at, or why am I stumbling over my closings? What the hell's wrong with me today? Thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye. Star catching. Star catching. Gonna catch a star. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Where is it? <gasps> oh.